my blast from the past. I'm a force for the future. A teenage zombie and acquired taste. Oxy clear and toxic waste. I'm a blast, blast, blast. From the all too recent past. Hello, I'm Carl Barker here, and welcome to the final instalment in the Blast for Past. Blast from the Past series. Uh, we're using the Paleontologist as the last one in the uh, group of four that was required to be used in the uh, Community Challenge uh, last week, or this week. And uh, I'll just show you a quick little trick here, look. The little zombie there is going to show you exactly what I I'm going to talk about. There we go, look, see, so you can just walk straight across the ocean. Uh, if you feel a bit worried about it all, then you can obviously, if you're a scientist, use your warp. But it's a, it's a path that not many people actually take and uh, you don't really get bombarded from the opposition by going that way either unless, well, until you actually come up the surface and then obviously you're just visible anyway. But it's a nice little trick there to actually get across the uh, ship rather than having to go all the way around the houses. So it looks like I'm going to get vanquished straight the way. There we go. You've joined... Uh, I've already been playing for a little while, hadn't done the comms for it, um, and decided to do it later on. And uh, yeah, we're up to 17 vanquishes towards the challenge. And uh, again, look here, you can see that you just drop down there, then you just walk across. I'm not 100% sure if you can actually just walk straight across. If you can, then that's awesome. Saves you having to use one of your warps, but uh, and then obviously other characters can then use that as well. I shall have to test it out at a later date. And I've been vanquished straight away again. Where was he standing? Oh, okay then, fair enough. He's just standing at the top, so I shall probably try and get my revenge right now. So hopefully you've been enjoy enjoying this series and also enjoying the community challenge in a whole uh, general. Um, I think the next one, like I've said, is the sneak attack or surprise attack. Yep, it's the surprise attack using the camo cactus and camo ranger. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. That will start hopefully on Thursday at 10 a.m. in PST and 6 p.m. Uh, GMT or BST, whichever way you want to say it. Uh, managed to get that revenge kill, but uh, his friend came and took me out instead. So it looks like we're going to cap this. I want to quickly get into this teleporter before it's all too late. Oh, just made it. So there we go. We're now onto the Mega Flower. Um, this is the character I haven't really used too much. I wish I kind of had. Um, it's the scientist version of the flame. Um, probably going to try and use it a little bit more in the future. Because I do, I do like the flame variants of the characters. So always check uh, around the edges, around the sides here, in case there's anyone, there we go, you see, look, just in case there's any other plants left over, they're trying to vanquish you. Oh, there's another one. Let's quickly go over there and try and get rid of him. There we go, we can bring this guy back to life as well, because I'm a scientist, and we can do it super duper quick. There you go, pal, you can have some uh, healings. So we're going to make our way over to the Mega Flower. Just get rid of that because knowing someone will walk into it. So they've already got rid of one Flux Cannon already. Uh, I was just going to say, going across here, you want to aim low until you get right close to the uh, edge of the, the island. And then you want to push up further, even though I got caught on fire there. I've got my balls of healings. So that should help a little bit. But yeah, aim low to start off with. The cannon most of the time can't get you if you aim low and then push up a little bit uh, to get all the way across onto the island. I like to personally with the scientists just go and clear deck because I can't do much damage sometimes to the mega flower depending on which character or which scientist you use it just, sometimes it just doesn't reach so I like to be a supportive character which I should be being the medic uh, doing the healing and all such like that See if we can get this guy here who's on heal. Yep. Let's throw the ball out. Try and shoot, shoot him straight, but he's not actually not hitting him. Oh well, never mind. 
I kind of needed that that ball to heal as well, which didn't help the the cause at all. But uh, we're not worried about it too much. Let's just get back straight into the action. Lots of peas there, you can see. Four peas, two cactus. I've only made it to that helipad once. Can anyone in the com comment section <laughs> confirm whether you've made it to that helipad? Um, be interesting to know because I seem to not be able to get there. So yeah, leave that in the comment section if you have managed to make it to that helipad from shooting out the cannon. If you're new to this series, don't forget to subscribe because there will be more gameplay for Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare uh, coming soon with the new challenge, which is the surprise attack, uh, which I've mentioned earlier. So I'll be doing some gameplay for that and future community challenges too and other ideas and fun things I can think of doing as well. Just quickly heal myself up. Has he spotted me? Yes, he has. And it didn't even give me a chance to get my healings on there. So with 1 minute 40 left on the clock, it's looking like we're probably not going to take the Mega Flower today. Which is uh, a shame. They're holding their defences very well. We're not even taking it down at all, are we? Let's go pick this uh, engineer up. Unless he backs out, there we go. He's straight back into the action, so he probably didn't want healing. Now the thing is with the paleontologist it's got a longer reach shot so this is what I'm using here. Uh, just setting them on fire a little bit. Managed to get one, another one to come to the front. Let's see if we can get some shots on that guy as well. I hope somewhere shoot me from somewhere else as well. Oh he's behind me. Oh dear. Sneaky sneaky attack. So 42 seconds left, it looks like it is not going to happen uh, this time round. But fully enjoyed this community challenge. It's been fun as most of them are. And I um, look forward to doing the next one. Just a quick push forward, see if we can get this last little bit done. I'll try and hold off the defences a little bit. 20 seconds, is anyone actually in there? I'm not too sure. It doesn't seem to be going down much. Just get a snidey shot on there. Someone's shooting me again. I've got 2% health. I don't know if I'm going to survive this. I think the Mega Flower is going to survive this. Yeah, it's all over. I did say we probably wouldn't be able to do it. So there we have it. That's the final character in the Blast from the Plast community challenge. Um, hope you've all enjoyed it. And yep, yeah, I'll leave you with the stats and I'll say bye for now. And I'll see you next time with Surprise Attack gameplay. Bye for now.